in this week's episode of the Booking Hero Academia, we finally they get away. But it's not gonna be that easy because the villains, especially this one guy, his ability is magnetism, which he can magnetize people within a 4.5 meter radius of himself. He can magnetize his whole body or specific parts. Men and women uphold opposites. Uh, however, he cannot magnify himself. I guess that's why the cop out to not make him be too OP so he can fly and all that stuff. His magnetism has to be a, a source where that is from, I guess. It says one of the villains flying towards the gang while well, Mountain Lady protected them and deflected them back off. She said to rescue his top priority and to on all of them to get out of there. She fell and the villains had theirs want this still a chance to get them so get back in line so they can shoot again. Right before they can shoot, right before they can um, launch the villain, Gran Turismo comes in and interrupts them. He commented that one for all, all for one said that it's Shimura's close friend, which will be his mentor and master. He, Gran Turismo also said that a mod, um, Deku is becoming more and more like him. And all my said, despite all that happened, they still came, the youths. But because of this, All Might can be able to fight a full power without holding back. And this is just me, but All Might looks battered and tired. And then later after, the, in the last part of the chapter, it showed him reverting back to his original form or his weakened state. And he can't really do that much in that form. Grand Tour is more charges towards the villains and Tomora tried to attack. But all for one, used the forced activation quirk on the individual with the magnetism ability, which forces them to use the ability to pull back the villains back into the portal. Obviously, Torma wants to help all for one. He also mentioned that he is running out of time, which saying that just like All Might, he has a limit to his abilities or a weakness. And plus, he says he's been finding all the previous incarnations of one for all. So he's really advanced in the age. So maybe, so maybe he's at his point in his life that he might be all the abilities or all the overpowered quirk abilities that's useful in battle and elsewhere. But his body itself cannot really last that long. Especially fighting against someone like All Might, even though All Might is in his weakened state also. Just before, just before Tormor was able to go through the port on teleportation, he was saying I still have him, so most likely he still have him thanked him for saving him back then when, his, when he was a child, lost. All my charges towards All For One, but he used transmission with which teleported a grand turisman right in front of All Might's punch. But All Might noticed and pulled back a bit because if, if he didn't, it probably would have killed Grand Turisman right there and then because Grand Turisman is old already and there's a limit to what he can do. All For One went on a little speech about how All Might brought down all his comrades one by one, but the public made him the symbol of peace. Standing up top of society and all the sacrifice that was made. And he also commented that the view must be nice from there. So from the villain's point of view, All Might is just as bad as the villains in, from an All Might's perspective. They're two coming to the same hole. Like, they're trying to do something, but it's always going to be someone to put them down just as how when, just as how when the heroes do something. There's always going to be someone or something that, that deters them from doing it. All Might is a destroyed smash. And he canceled out. And he canceled out the transmission with brute force. Omar said that there's a lot of things that he has to protect, and that's exactly how you can play with people at their to toys. He said that what he said, destruction, theft, exploitation, manipulation is all he can do. I all might went all out and punched him and said, I, "I will not forgive you for all that you've done." But that punch, like I said before in my, earlier, that did nothing because all might is reverting back to his original self, or as we can state. And if uh, we saw down on the final panel that he barely cracked even the mask that he's wearing. And he's also saying that he got carried away by his emotion just like the previous incarnation of One for All. That's my review on this week's chapter of Boku Nero Academia. I really think that's it for All Might. He's gonna die this. This He's gonna, he's gonna die in this volume because because he's going back to his original form and all the other heroes are out of and all, the, and all the other heroes are unconscious and Gran Turismo, I don't really think Gran Turismo will be enough to like hold back all for one if pushed up to shove. And I don't think he's going to protect someone in this situation already. So he's probably going to die there and it's going to be a real big detriment to society if All Might dies. But it's also a chance that one for All Might die there with All Might. He might do a suicide attack to kill them both. 
which be why Toruma before said your body. So his body is like I said before, his body's weakened. So it might be something with that too. Anyway, that's it for my review again. And, and bye guys, cryptic out.